Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to Starbucks and we are trying their new drink. I believe it's called the Iced Brown Sugar Oat Milk Shaken Espresso. That is a mouthful. And um, for me, it was super hard to find. So uh, I live in the Northwest Metro Atlanta area and it was available at none of the stores or locations around my house except for one that was like over 20 minutes away. And the only reason I'm trying it today is because I had to come downtown for my job today. So um, you can get it at the Starbucks Reserve in Midtown here. So I'm gonna go get it there. I'm just gonna do a little mobile order to avoid crowds and all that. So let's go pick it up. I'm excited to try it. Oh, but side note about that, I just feel like if you're gonna come out with a new drink and advertise it and all that, it should be available at most, if not all of your locations. Um, I'm not sure why my area is taking so long to get on the oat milk train, but it's just kind of ridiculous because I had it in Colorado like months ago in August. Like, what is the holdup? I don't understand. I want my- Head north on it. That's upsetting. Cause I won't be able to drink it all the time because it won't be by my house but they do have the other one the almond milk chocolate one which doesn't sound as good so yeah all right we have just arrived let's go secure the bag color probably because oat milk is so creamy and good yeah so I just got a grande it was like 5.45 for this uh, I think it's two shots of espresso yeah that's the order let's go ahead and give it a try super brown sugary but I can taste it a little bit okay now I'm getting it more at first I was hit with just like their bitter express espresso I don't love their espresso so maybe if I got this again I would get the blonde one because it's less bitter there's a nice hint of cinnamon in there there's some cinnamon hmm. It's nice and smooth though. The oat milk uh, is so good. Just unbeatable by any other non-dairy milk, honestly. Huh. So ratings wise, I would probably give this a 7.5. No, it's better than that. Eight, I think an eight out of 10. Would definitely get it again, probably with, um, the blonde espresso and honestly I like my coffee sweet if you guys watch my Duncan video you would know that um, so maybe I could add more shots or more uh, pumps of the brown sugar syrup and that might make it better for me but still very very drinkable for someone who likes sweet stuff like it's still got some sugar I think they were trying to advertise it as like under 200 calories, which I feel like is still a lot for a coffee. I mean, usually I just get an iced coffee or I don't even know what I got. I get different stuff every time, honestly, depending on if I have rewards or if I want coffee or not coffee, but yeah excited to have this on the menu and hopefully other locations will finally get the oat milk and I think with this release they also came out with a 100% plant-based lunch box you know they have those their protein boxes so I think it has the avocado spread um, carrots and something else and like some nuts and stuff which wouldn't be my preferred type of lunch but 
it's still really awesome that it's there if I'm ever in a pinch and I need to get that. But honestly, I really like their bagels with the avocado spread. Or I haven't tried it yet, but they have a like chia overnight oats or chia pudding. I can't remember if it's overnight oats or chia pudding, but it's one of the two made with coconut milk. Um, like in their parfait section. So I'm really excited for all these new plant-based options. They also have the Impossible Burger or the Impossible Sausage Sandwich. I don't think the ciabatta bread it comes on as vegan, but I'm not sure. Um, but you can get it without the egg and the cheese, so if the bread's vegan, then that's another option. But I've heard they're testing like breakfast sandwiches, like full-on vegan breakfast sandwiches in Seattle, and if they do that, that'll be a game changer. Oh my gosh. Also, Just Egg came out with, um, is, well, they're in the process of coming out with those egg white bites like Starbucks has, except it's like the vegan egg. So, uh, I've been jealous of all these people getting the egg white bites and I haven't been able to try them. So maybe I'll be able to try them sometime soon. Let me, want, let me know if you want me to film if I ever get to try that. So. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and drive home with my coffee now. I can feel it hitting already. I haven't had coffee yet and it's like almost 11.30, so this is much needed. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!